Emma Zabliski from Cobram, Carly Castaldi from Exeter, Mia Belargeron. I'm not sure where you're from, Mia. Oh, from Spalding. Riley Drapo from Oyster River. Penny Dennett from Portsmouth. Rachel Poulin from Exeter. And Grace Bromica from Summersworth. Those girls are in the finals for the Javelin. for the boys' 110 meter hurdles. All boys in the 100 meter dash, please come check in on the infield. Please try not to cross the track. We wanna be safe here. All boys in the 100 meter dash, we need to check in on the infield under the white tent. Thank you. 
We have some results. The results of the four by 800 meter relay for girls. This event was sponsored by Access Sports Medicine. They have offices in Exeter, Portsmouth, Rochester, Dover, and Raymond. And if you have an athlete, you have probably been there. In the four by 800 meter relay, in sixth place, we had Raymond. In fifth place was Coe Brown. Fourth place was Exeter. Third place was Portsmouth. Second place was Dover. And the winner of the girls four by 800 meter Don't relay was Winnicunit with a time of 10.05.61. Result of the boys four by 800 meter relay. This event was sponsored by the Exeter Run Club. The Exeter Run Club is an outstanding supporter of Blue Hawk Track and Field. Would like to offer them a big thank you for all of their support through all of our seasons of track and field and cross country. The fourth place team in the boys four by 800 was Winnicott. Third was Co Brown. Second was Exeter. And the winner was Oyster River with a time of 8.26.12. But those teams, I think I saw you over at the tent doing your interviews, but if you have not gone over there yet, head over to the red tent on the infield and don't forget to pick up your awards at the awards table. We are ready for the boys high jump. If you're competing in the boys high jump, please report. Ha, ha, ha. 
Did they have a fat boy one? <laughs> <laughs> Like so easy. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, so what? What do you? What do you? What are you at yeah, now for awesome. Max? All right. That's my PR. <laughs> That's your PR. Yeah. All right, thanks. I just matched it. Yeah. Oh, my goal is effortless. My goal is. Cameron says good luck. Good. We're having a few technical difficulties with the camera. We should be up and running in just a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, uh, I put a guy on, and I, you know, did that whole thing for like six months. But he went back to the shed company. He wanted something more. I, I couldn't offer him insurance and all that stuff. He was a sub, so I paid him. I paid him thirty bucks an hour really good money. I said, so I can pay you really good money or I can put you on the books, but I'm going to have to pay you all less because we're on top of the lap. I can only do one of the, one of the other, right? So, uh, Well, in days like that, I'm going over stuff with customers and, yep, yep. and spending an hour or something, or sometimes two hours with a customer and work still getting done, which is awesome. Three, three attempts and then you got the two. Yeah, each, each height you got three shots. Just two girls now? Yeah. yeah. Jay, uh, there was a there was a guy in Lee that used to do some stuff, and now Jay's like one of the only guys around, right? Madbury, that guy retired. So, and like everything else with COVID, like people just spending money, like it's just weird. And, and so he was wicked behind. So for the last like four weeks, four to five weeks, I've been pretty much 85, 90 percent of the time just doing stone cutting and installing. We we're doing we we're doing like two kitchens a week, and so it worked out that he left. And now, so I've been just doing a lot of that. Like, you know, Bill, do you know Bill McBride? I, I know what. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a friend of mine, but him and his wife are selling the house, so I spent two days at his house just doing a few things, just getting ready to sell. And then, uh, you know, Scott Young, right? Scott Bell Young. Um, they put all new floors in their house, top and bottom. And um, the snare treads finally came in, so I'm doing all that. So, yeah, it's good. I. I liked, I, I actually had to say no to a couple big jobs because Gerald left and so I just did two big ones by myself and be efficient at it. You know, you can't take six months to do a one month job because it's only
anyone is looking for our trainer, she is in a green gator parked down past the finish line, off to the side of the track. Ready to call finals for the boys' long jump. Uh, we have Matt Scammon from Spalding. Dylan Jabry from Dover. Javian James from Dover. Ricky Calouette from Sanborn. Jeremiah Nichols from Oyster River. Rowan Boyce from Co Brown. Tashawn Shepard from Summersworth. And Brady McInnes from Dover. Those boys are in the finals of the long jump. Please report. Have been working <laughs> last Monday morning. I said, I'll go down. There you go. Why is this a new one? Yeah, she needed yeah. a she needed a big one. Anytime. She, well, she's well, just because of the pressure part, she puts on it? Part of that record's yours. Oh, because of the height. It wasn't tall enough for her anymore. So now is it, it really I don't know all the rules of these. Um, so the, if, if the higher they go, can they start running back more? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, they yeah. Can start running back. You can, that's why the runway is so long. So it's wherever you want, wherever it's you feel totally, comfortable. It's totally independent on every proportion. So you could have another ball for the same height, but they might do four, they might be longer, they might need to do the pull. Because the ideal scenario is you get yourself upside down and you push yourself off. So you're physically yeah. upside down. They are not there. So you're tall, you'll start getting there. You'll be completely upside down? The whole thing is completely upside down. And when you're completely upside down in the same plane as the whole, then you can push. Give you so, that extra height. Commando the pool is the way The pool is like 17 feet. And you're jumping 22 feet. Holy crap! 21 something. So you're doing this and getting every lap. 22 feet. 17 feet. It's, I think that's like longest. a tall, yeah. He's like 21. Really? It's like 21. Okay, Blue Hawks, we're moving the hurdles up to the white marks and down two notches. Yellow, sorry. Move them up to the yellow and down two notches. What's Aaron's PR? What's um, what's that? Is? Yeah, excellent. Girls in the 100 meter dash, you can check in at this time if you have not done so already. Girls in the 100 meter dash can check in at the white tent on the infield. They both PR. Yeah, but, but yeah, they both meet their personal records. Yeah. Foot higher than her record. Her, her record was 10. Who just now? I'm not sure. Her record was 10. Her record. Well, today now it's 10. Yeah, but now it's both of them. Yeah. 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 What's up, Kylie? Uh, 800. 800? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> But I'll tell you, she's like uh, she's uh, um, she's fifth in the state for uh, 400, uh, 400 
foreign or two hundred. I always get them, um, and then one of them she's like ninth in the state for. Like, she's got some wheels. Yeah. She tried. Right. <laughs> That's tried. what I like. That's the worst thing. They're like. All right. for the boys shot put and the girls discus. Boys shot put and girls discus, you can report. We have some field events results in the girls shot put. Sixth place was Paige Chesbro from Sanborn. Fifth place was Julian Evans from Sanborn. Fourth place was Runa Kirsten Geiler from Exeter. Second place was Grace Bronkema from Summersworth. And the winner of the girls shot put with a throw of 36 feet 4 inches was Natalie Riley from Co-Brown.